Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to explain corneal epithelial basement membrane dystrophy because recently we had a question on Facebook uh, wondering for more information about this and I thought it'd be a great time to share. Uh, this dystrophy goes by several different names. Uh, none of them are very uh, easy to say or easy to understand, but uh, one is map dot fingerprint dystrophy. Uh, some people may just call it map dot dystrophy or uh, like I said before corneal epithelial basement membrane dystrophy. And so and to understand what this is remember that the cornea is the clear shield that covers the front of the eye and then the surface of the cornea is covered by the epithelium. So this is basically a thin layer of cells that always changes over kind of like our skin that keeps the surface nice and smooth and clear so we can see. These cells are attached to the underlying layers by their basement membrane which is the bottom layer of the epithelium. Now in this dystrophy that basement membrane can become thicker and we can see this with white lines or spots on the surface of the cornea. That's how it gets part of the name map dot fingerprint because these lines can have an irregular shape and look a little bit like lines on a map uh, or they could look like dots or they could look like fingerprints where there's many lines uh, running together. Now this can be a very common disorder. Some estimates say between 6 and 18 percent of people may have it but fortunately many of the time people don't even know that they have it and it doesn't cause any trouble. Uh, however, one of the troubles that it can cause is recurrent corneal erosion syndrome. Now if you look back earlier on our episode of A State of Sight, you can find more information about this disorder where the epithelium or that surface layer can break off and cause painful erosions, particularly in the morning. Uh, some estimates say that maybe 50% of recurrent corneal erosion syndrome is caused by people that have map dot fingerprint dystrophy and that's because that these top surface layers of the epithelium don't stick down well to the underlying layers. Uh, with this they could possibly need treatment either with drops or ointment or potentially even surgical treatment to help make a better adhesion between the layers. A lot of times we don't notice any trouble or any signs of this until people are over 50 years of age and it's possible that it is inherited although most of the time we think that these just occur spontaneously in the individual patient. Um, one other problem that this can cause since it can cause irregularity if it's towards the center it can cause trouble with the vision or it can give us trouble measuring the curvature of the eye or the cornea because of the bumps and uneven areas and may give us trouble taking measurements when we need to do cataract surgery or if we're thinking about other laser procedures like LASIK. So if you have any other questions about anterior corneal basement membrane dystrophy please post we'll be happy to answer them and we hope to see you again soon next time on State of Sight.